Bleach is finally back. Core 2 or Season 2 of the Thousand Year Blood War. What happened at the end? We finished off with Ichigo getting his new weapon. He's dual wielding now. And Ishida seems to have joined the other side, the Vandernag. But he's probably just going to be as a spy, right? There's no way he actually betrays us. Let's begin today's reaction, though. <laughs> kind of looks like sperms. <laughs> Doesn't it? That's a sperm and an egg. No, that, that was actually sperm. This is the whole reproduction cycle of mitosis and all that bullshit. Yeah! Hold up. Who's kid? Who's the mom? Huh? What is this? Like the chosen baby? God, the bleed soundtrack always goes so hard, man. Is the baby gonna come out with the mustache? <laughs> I mean, you know, imagine how funny it would be if the baby came out with the fucking Ewok mustache thing. Dude, look at these things. Come on, show us it. It's so pointy. Back to the royal palace where these dudes just watch Yamamoto to die because they had more important things to do. <laughs> well, this is the next part of the training session, yeah? Yeah, because you motherfuckers didn't come and help. You were just <laughs> watching from above. Guys are talking pretty big though. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying! These dudes just watch Yamamoto get clapped! Why? It's some bullshit, cause like, obviously Taita Kubo has to write in these, you know, new guys as like... Like, like if they came and just saved us, then it, the story will be over. It doesn't make sense, right? But it's just so ridiculous if you like, think about like, what these dudes were doing. Oh. We're with the stern returns, dude. Oh, dude, their soundtrack is so good. Ishida should be here. Maybe this is like Ishida's uh, initiation. <laughs> yes, your majesty. There's a lot of them. Because this all started because, you know, how the Quincy's, they don't recycle the souls. It causes like an imbalance. So the soul reapers have to go and like kill them, I think. So who's in the right? I don't really know. I'm just here for the hype moments. Ishida. Why? Why did you leave us? You're going undercover spy, right? Everybody's so jealous. Ishida. The Chosen Quincy. Mm. His successor? Like, next in line? Everybody here's gonna be pissed off then, right? Cause like, everybody simps for Yuak so much. And then Yuak brings in some random guy to replace him? Later, right? But... Huh. And he- I thought he would be next in line cause he's like... I don't know, he's like right-hand man. Uh, we know how powerful Ishida is. But like, Yuak has to realize that he's an undercover agent. There's no way Ishida is here of his own volition saying, okay, I'm just gonna switch sides. Nah, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> These dudes are like, fuck this job. I worked here for 20 years so that the boss's son can just show up and take over the spot? This is some bullshit. Oh. 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 <laughs> I can't. I don't know. Would you want to be split in part by a half fire? <laughs> but why did she zip and he got split? I don't know. Her thing is killing hot guys when she gets pissed off. I probably don't meet the criteria, but goddamn, I still volunteer. <laughs> You're so pissed off. I love how this dude literally looks like a, like a wrestler. Look at him. Look at these new girls, man. Look at the green-haired girl. Oh my god, these design. Her name is Candy. And then the other uh, girl was Bambi, right? I don't know. I welcome both. Ista? No. Why aren't you upset? You should be next in line. Yeah. But he seems totally fine with it. Maybe this is just a poker face. Like he's clearly upset, but he's like, it's my majesty's wishes. 
I just realized this is Anos Voldigo's voice. You know, the new Anos voice actor, right? Fight me for it, bitch. Do it! What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> oh? What is that? This guy's power? Hmm. Oh, yo, he has the Eisen haircut. What? You know, the, the slick back with the single strand coming down. <laughs> Our next emperor. Are we seeing like a split in the faction of people rooting behind him instead of Ewok because of this new decision? Yeah. Because you're Ichigo's friend. I don't know. Didn't Ishida's dad mention some kind of book that was in like a drawer last season? I, I forget. That was a long time ago. Because I'm not dead? What the fuck kind of question is that? Is he implying that someone's letting him live? Maybe Yuhawk himself? Like, of all the Quincy that's gone, like, why is Udi the only one left? Tell me then. What, what, what is it? Because it's anime. Every anime mom dies. So, so there's some kind of sad backstory. Ah, the diary. That's what we were talking about last season. But we clearly proved that wrong. Ichigo and Ichida became decently good friends. Nah, this has gotta be a lie. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Nah, nah, nah. He's definitely here to help Ichigo somehow, doing his own way of going solo. Nah. The best thing about this whole place is there's always this blue hue of light coming up. It makes it so, I don't know, ominous. Did he? Is that his blood? What he's just drinking? Like, yeah. What is he, some kind of like Jesus? Cause like, you know, in, in like church or something like, uh, you drink like, uh, it's not wine, but like grape juice and he says, oh, this is Jesus's blood. Same letter A. What are you doing, Urahara? You need to get in the battle too, man. He's always just doing shit behind the scenes, and he only shows up at like... No, like... Urahara just can't show up. He only comes in when there's no options left, then it comes out as like an asshole. Because like, if he would really try, then everything would just get solved. Surpass a soul reaper. I mean, uh, he's soul reaper, he's hollow, he's Quincy now. Don't you think he has surpassed all that shit? Hmm? Talking about, you're gonna give us new powers? New weapons? What? What does it mean to surpass a soul reaper? I thought he pretty much already did that shit in the previous seasons. You know, hollow transformation. The Quincy powers now. Oh, they're training. Okay. What is this? Just in a sauna? We're just... Sweating? You just hold that pose until the noise? What? Oh, thank God. No one, no one actually thought Byaku was gonna die. But that, but that scene where Byaku was like, please, Kurosaki Ichigo, save soul society. <laughs> like, no, he's not gonna die! Who is this though? Byakuya? It is. Oh, damn. They didn't show his ass though. Did he get stronger, maybe? Oh. Oh, now we're talking. Oh. Back, back on Earth with all the human friends. That, I don't know. I forgot about them, man. I'm not gonna lie. That's like we hardly ever see them, you know? Oh? Why is he here? You, you, doing, you doing research? As usual. <laughs> Ishigo doesn't get paid for this, man. He's been saving the Soul Society's ass. Like, forever. 
そんなもん全部あんたらの都合じゃねえか、okay. <laughs> Him grabbing the captain like that to be like, what is it? What are you trying to like threaten him? <laughs> It's just like, don't fucking touch me, bro. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Punch a fucking captain? <laughs> If you just like take a step back and think about the situation, it's so ridiculous. What the fuck are you gonna do? <laughs> It's gonna be fine, don't worry. Yeah, he's just being courteous, you know. Wow. He's a good guy after all. What is this, movie passes? He's so kind. He probably feels like such an asshole for grabbing him like this after he does all this. He just came here to warn them of the... the The exception scenario where everything might go bad just to warn them to give him a heads up. And then he even gives him a ticket. And the motherfucker grabs him. He's like, what? <laughs> you trying to punch him, man? It's the calm before the storm. I hope they do. Bro, let's go. Let's go. I want to see the battles already. Maybe Nell will do the transformation. Honestly, I don't. I want to go back into battle. Come on, let's go. Yeah, these are peaceful times, yes, but come on. Hmm? Oh, what? Are we getting invaded again? Again? What? Huh? Okay. I mean, I was asking for it, right? I, I was. Uh, yo, Orihime definitely jinxed us. I wish this peaceful moment could go forever. <laughs> He invaded again, again? Bro, this is like the third time he just showed up. Do your thing. I, I don't know that. What is it? The Quincy King. Is this like a prophecy? 999. We're gonna start to get 900, yep. 90, yep. Strength after 9, and then what? There you go. 0.9? 9 days? Come on, let's go fight! But nah, like... They're, they're, these are the last nine days of the world, but this shit's, you know, this shit's gonna go on for more than nine months. Like, come on, in terms of, like, anime time. Remember the first time they invaded, they showed up to Yamamoto's office, and they just fucking killed his vice captain? That was so beam. And then, they invaded just a couple days after, and then they just knocked everybody out, right? And then, they're like, fuck it, let's show up one more time to shit on them. Uryu is back. Now, everybody's still training, though. That means we gotta get back immediately. But hey, I've been asking for an invasion. I wanted the fights to get started immediately. No, we're going to get into some fights. It'll be next week, though. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.